Salam alaikum. Amazir? Ah. Eh. Um, Mersuga? Good morning internet, it is 8.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Agudim, in the high atlas in Morocco. Uh, and I'm just sitting next to the fire now because it is really cold. <laughs> it was really cold last night. According to the weather forecast it was freezing about 5 degrees Celsius. Uh, and it's still below freezing at the moment. Um, so I'm sitting right here next to the stove and there's some water on for some tea. So I'll have a breakfast and then I start riding. I think I'll do the same as a last video. I'll just show you where I end up today. But the plan is to ride all the way from the High Atlas straight into the Sahara Desert. So that's the plan for today. It'll be a long ride. Uh, it will be cold, especially in the beginning. So I better warm up before uh, I go outside. Uh, then you put it inside the... Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. put it inside. See, Leave uh, it. And then put it in the... Uh. Looks very good. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Saha. Saha. Dries. Saha. Aziza. Leinig. Leinig. I go into the cold. What a stunning morning though. Look at this scenery. I really like all the different languages that are being spoken in Morocco. Uh, right here, the people here, they speak Atlas Amazir. So Amazir is basically the name that contains four different people. You got the Rif people or the Riffen. Uh, for example, Shalila in the last place I stayed in Bali, she was Riffen. And then you have three different groups of Berber. And they all have their own languages. And so here they speak Atlas Amazir. And then you have in Agadir, which is uh, more in the south of Morocco, they speak Agadir, Amazir, I think. And then, and then there's one other group. And then there's people that speak Moroccan, which is not the same as Arabic, but because Moroccan is not a written language, they need Arabic as written language. And well, then there's still a lot of people that speak uh, French because uh, Morocco only gained its independence from France in, correct me if I'm wrong, 1965, I believe it was. So especially the whole older generation will still speak French and actually a lot of younger people will also speak French. And for example, the owner here, Dries, he spoke quite good Spanish, but that's mainly, he said, because, because of visitors that will come from Spain. So he picked that up mainly from uh, having guests uh, from Spain. So I was communicating mostly in French, yeah, in French with Aziza and in Spanish with Dries. And then I learned like a few words of Atlas Amazir. It's all a bit of a mix of uh, languages, but I really like it. It's 
kind of nice that there's not so much snow because then this river is also a lot smaller. So I suppose this can sm swell to quite big proportions if you have a lot of melt water. Oh, it's actually this water is frozen. Oh. <laughs> <Oi. laughs> Riding on ice. Look at that. What a gorgeous part of the world. I'm happy I came here. Oh wow, everybody's standing on top of the van. I'm running right against the sun, but I hope you can still see a little bit of those mountains <laughs> right in front of me. Wow. supposed to cross this water then? Is there a road here? Hmm, this is wrong. Let's find another way. Is this a... Uh, this is a no-go. See, I think this is the only place where I can actually cross this water. It's actually a dam. Don't see any other way. Here. map is uh, not uh, very correct. <laughs> it's all very off. So, so I'm just using uh, open street maps. Usually that's uh, pretty good, but over here does not, not make a lot of sense. Passing through a town called... What's it called? I don't know what it's called. But I'm gonna see if I can maybe eat something here. It's uh, lunchtime. I'm gonna be here. Okay, just around. Look at this steaming, boiling hot eggs and bread for lunch. Oh, that looks amazing. That was absolute yum. I feel reborn with a tummy full of warm food. Oh, that was delicious. All right, 60, no, 76 kilometers to go to Mersuja. All right, welcome to the desert. Look at this. And you probably don't see it yet, but I already see some sand dunes in the distance. Pretty tall ones. Wow, this is cool to ride, eh? Oh, and the dunes should get bigger and bigger. Oh, 
Oh. I should actually check where am I going. Okay. Now this starts to get sandy. Let's see if I can get through this. Point, there should be a track leading to the right. Do I have to get through there? Hmm. I'll try to get through here. different from riding that beta in the Baja rally with no luggage this is a <laughs> it's a bit harder let me see is this the track this might very well be that track there's tracks everywhere I'm not sure not too sure yeah I turned a bit early. It's just past that area over there. Past those houses, I think. So there's people living here. Let me ask which way to Mersuga. Mersuga! Mersuga! Uh huh? Mersuga? Okay. See, there in the distance are the big dunes. <laughs> Salam alaikum! Salam alaikum! Uh, Amazir? Ah. Uh. Um, Mersuga? Mersuga, Espanol. Espanol? Yeah, um, estoy buscando la route por Mersuga. Por acá? Tienes la la pista. Tienes la la carretera. Pero? Okay. Acá la carretera. Sí, abajo, sí. Okay. Okay. Quieres ir contigo? Ah, estoy bien. Estoy bien. Saja. ¿Tienes moto? Sí. Ah, okay, okay. No, estoy bien. Estoy bien. Gracias. Fue por por acá, entonces. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Gracias. Lainik. <laughs> This is the track. I think. So he, he spoke Spanish too. I really I'm so happy that so many people in Morocco speak Spanish because that's really helpful. It makes it a lot easier for me to communicate because yeah. My Moroccan slash Amazir is all not very good. Ah, 
here's the track, I think. This is the main, I think this is the main track. Now we're talking. Those are some dunes. <laughs> How do I get there? strong wind here as well which is not surprising given the dunes being here too but still some camels passing by Salam alaikum. All right, I have a place to stay, and I'm actually staying right next to the big sand dunes, which you can see from the terrace here. Check this out. Look at that. So Alaska is parked down there, and then you have oasis and sand dunes. So awesome to be in the desert. It is definitely warmer here. It's not super, super hot, I'd say. It's probably only 15 degrees Celsius, so it is not as hot as you might expect, but <laughs> it's a lot better than in the high atlas. Let me actually show you still where I am now, kind of how I went today. Right, so this morning I backtracked pretty much out the same way I came in. Um, later I realized I should have just continued and went this way, but anyway, I went back and then I kind of went here. I followed quite a few main roads and then I went into the desert here and now I'm staying somewhere over here, this side of Morocco. So I'm relatively close to the border with Algeria over here. So I'm really looking forward uh, for more desert riding and uh, maybe try some small dunes to ride on. Uh, so that's going to be the next video. I just want to take a day to kind of explore locally what's to see around here and ride some more sand. Uh, so that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.